Hello and welcome to the Library Data Trend Analysis Report demo video. So in this video, I'm going to show you what the Trend Analysis Report looks like and some of the different things that you can do with this report. A Trend Analysis Report is a little bit different than the other reports in library data. Rather than providing results on a single title or group of titles, a Trend Analysis Report provides results for an entire category. You can look at a specific subject or group of subjects, or different languages to see changes in activity over time. So to start off, we can navigate to the Trend Analysis Report button over here from the Library Data homepage. And here we are on the Criteria Selection page. So one of the first things you may notice is at the top we have two tabs, one for Subject Trends and one for Language Trends. These are two different but similar reporting options which will allow you to see changes in the performance of specific languages or subjects over time. So we're going to stick with the subject trends and the first thing that you're going to need to do is to select your library aggregate. An aggregate refers to a specific grouping that has provided us data. If you wanted to, you can click on the Add Edit Aggregate button and this is going to allow you to see the different available aggregates. So you can filter by some different criteria like aggregate type, province, or branch focus. You can also select a specific library system or branch from the search tree. Or if you know the name of the branch you're searching for, you can just type it in this box. Next up, you'll be able to pick anywhere from 1 to 10 subjects. You can click on the Add Edit Subjects button, which will bring up a BISAC subject tree. If you know particularly what you're looking for, you can use these buttons to scroll down and find what you want, or you can search up here. So let's say I was looking for books on animals, and click on that. So now when I run this report, I'm going to see changes in activity of titles with the BISAC subject code animals. Next up, you have the option to select your reporting period. When we go to the results page, you'll see that the consecutive reporting intervals are displayed in separate columns. So you can choose the type and amount of intervals. So you might want to see data over various weeks, months, or quarters. Let's say I wanted to see for consecutive months. I can click on this button. I can choose the end month, the end year, and the number of months I want to display. I could choose to run this report now if I wanted to by clicking here. But you also have the option to filter by an additional language. So if I click on this button, it will allow me to select which language I'd like to filter by. So let's say I only wanted to see titles in French. I could click here and that would further filter my results. The selection criteria page for the language trend analysis looks very similar to this, but the only major difference is that up here you're able to choose a maximum of 10 languages, and then you can also filter by one additional subject. So let's run this report and see what we get. Here we are at the results page, and right at the top you can see a summary of the criteria that we've used to generate this report. Scrolling down, we get into our data. So you can see here the subjects are listed on the side. There's fiction, animals, which I selected on the previous page. And we're also given the all subject. So this is giving us the aggregated data for all the subject codes that we have in library data. If I wanted to, I could resort the data by clicking on any of the headers here. So if I wanted to sort by renewals in March, I can click on that and that will resort. You also have the option to customize the columns here. So if I wanted to see only loans and no renewals, I have the option to deselect that. And then that is removed from our table. As I mentioned previously, if I wanted to, I could have selected up to 10 subjects and so I can compare their performance over time. As with the other library data reports, you have the option to download or email the report as an Excel or CSV file. And if you think you're going to be using this report a lot, you can choose to save it and it will appear in the My Reports area over on the sidebar. Or you can distribute a copy by email or by sharing to other users who have access to library data. So that's everything on the Trend Analysis Report. If you'd like other information, you can check out some of our help documentation at this link, or you're always welcome to contact us through the web form or by emailing us at librarydata at booknetcanada.ca.